Hello crafty friends. Welcome back to Crafting in the Quick. This is a 10 minute countdown where I use my timer to see how much I can get done in 10 minutes. I am using the Operation Ride Home sketches for this series and I'm also working with evergreen pattern paper and this is for my 10 on the 10th cards. So as we left off last time I did start putting some pieces on the matting. I have some left to go. And then I'll probably go ahead and get these die cut. And then hopefully some stamping. I did find this from an old Hero Arts kit. As well as my hybrid Cherry Cobbler slash Real Red. <laughs> Alright, let's set 10 minutes on the clock. Start. Okay. I had almost finished this one, so let's go ahead and let me turn this up a little bit. So I, I want you to be able to hear the timer go off this time. So, nope, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Okay. I did not have a schematic of the exact pieces. I just started cutting and I had a basic idea of what I wanted to do. So these will be mix and match. Okay, so there's all those. Let's go ahead and stamp. This is going to be it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I'll use this one. It doesn't say a specific color on here, but it did come in one of my kits that I used to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this up here because I'm going to put, I'm going to overlap my tree. So I'm going to put that about right there. This is our sentiment piece. It goes right there. I have used this sentiment for the inside of the card, but this time I'm going to use it for the outside. I wanted to find something that fit within this piece here. And of course, you don't have to adhere 100% to the sketch. If you have a sentiment piece that's a little bit smaller, you can always cut your piece that way, too. In this case, I cut the piece first and then found the sentiment.
ahead and make our tree. I'm going to be using the same color as the matting. I think this is shaded spruce. Um, no, it's not garden green, but it's not shaded spruce. Probably just a generic that I got on Amazon. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I got three pieces cut out so far. And so the stamping is done here for the front. So we'll be putting those together. That would make very cute there. Very pretty. Right on the front, like so. We will finish die cutting next time. If you haven't seen the first video where I started cutting the paper for this, um, please watch here. Thank you. Bye-bye.